Hi, I'm Tim Weaver from CMVG and I'm with uh, Dan Dawkins, Editor-in-Chief of PSM and Xbox World. Hi, Dan. Hello. Uh, you are, you, I think you've done possibly one of the first uh, reviews of SSX in the world, so you're in a prime position to tell us about it, so why don't you? Uh, yeah, SSX, I remember playing this game for the first time 12 years ago I mean. on PS2, so it was pretty terrifying for me that I'm finally back and reviewing it again. Would it be uh, fair to say you were massively hot for this game from the moment it was announced? Well, yeah, I mean, I was also there when they announced it. Uh, oh, of course in, you were, yeah. In Canada, and um, my feeling then was that of mild trepidation, where the, the, originally when they showed the game off, the, the direction was going to be focused on the notion of these deadly descents, mm. which made the game look like Call of Duty on snow being quite brutish. But what was quite obvious, even at that stage, is the guy creating it, Todd Batty, he had his hands tied a little bit, or, or deliberately chosen just to show this element. Mm. And so when I said, as a hardcore fan, I'm a little bit worried about how gritty this looks, he'd sort of said, trust me, right, there's okay. loads more to come. I can't show you yet, but it is coming up. So I think that when they showed the game, and obviously loads of the old fans went, what have you done to my game? You've ruined it with your realism. Yeah. Um, they did slightly react to the fan stuff, but more than anything, I think they always meant to keep it in the spirit of the original games. Yeah. Uh, and that spirit is, as we're seeing here, incredibly high speed, incredibly fun, speed stunt racing. Yeah. So give us a give us an overview of how it's changed over 12 years. I mean, is it? I mean, obviously, visually it has. We can see that from the start. But I mean, is it? Does it feel different, or is it a really good throwback to, to SSX as old? Well? What it is essentially, it's it's a brilliant sort of middle ground between SSX Tricky, which is many fans' favourite in the series, and that was kind of the series' most wacky, uh, ridiculous, but also the most sort of hardcore and trick-based. You know, hence the name Tricky. It's mm -hmm. pretty obvious, um, and that had some pretty fantastical level designs. So, for example, you had tracks like. Uh, Tokyo Megaplex, mm. um, which and, and again like, were essentially like pinball tables, mm. but used to snowboard them, and they were like, you know, fun but ludicrous. And anyway, not that much fun to race on because he was banging into things all the time. Or you had uh, tracks like uh, Mercury City Meltdown, which would be um, like cityscapes, and you'd be crashing through um, skyscrapers and through plate glass. Now this this game isn't that. What it's closer to, in a way is SSX3, which had huge organic mountain ranges, but retained a lot of the colours and sort of vibrancy from Tricky. And this again has taken all those elements, brought it up to next gen standards. Mm. And you can see, it looks really wonderful. Mm. And like the scale is wonderful. The speed is, is breath, you know, not breathtaking is the wrong word, but it's, it's really, really quick. It's tangible, you yeah. can really feel it, yeah. Replay function. Yeah, the, the rewind, this is another new feature, and the ability to rewind at any time. So if you guff up a combination of tricks, you can quickly rewind it back, and so it just means that you keep the combination line or it stops you falling off a cliff and actually dying. Uh, again, that's brilliantly balanced because if you rewind during a combo, it rewinds the points you scored up to that point, so it keeps it all really balanced. Oh, right, Where if you nice. do, it, do it in a race mode, you rewind, but the rest of the racers carry on as normal. Mm. So you can't just keep rewinding and going, oh, I made a mistake, I'll do this and go back ahead. Yeah. There's a persistent cost to you. Yeah. Um, so say so it's essentially trapped between sort of uh, SSX Tricky and SSX3. Uh, it's totally brought up to modern standards. The big change is this focus on um, the deadly descents. Mm. And the game's got this third strand, where instead of racing in tricks, it's about survival. Um, we're not seeing much of it here yet, but in each of the game's nine major regions, which vary from things like Alaska to Antarctica to New Zealand, there's like one signature uh, track, which is um, based on a battle against the elements. Mm. So it might be that uh, in Fitzroy, in Patagonia, you um, get to battle against gravity. And obviously you don't punch gravity, that would be no, insane. Yeah. But um, what you do get to do is um, you wear this squirrel suit, and you can see Elise, Elise here is one of the, the classic returning characters. You press R1 and it activates kind of like a Batman style cape, right. uh, which sounds like it's going to be rubbish uh, and completely ruin the game. But the, the good news is, of, of an addition that could have gone wrong, it's brilliantly handled. Yeah. And so you'll come off a big, big you know, chasm or slope, flip into this mode, and um, be able to soar. And it's just, it's just a great way to find new shortcuts, keeps the game flowing. Um, and generally, the core of the game is built around this Will Tour mode which has got nine main regions, nine deadly descents. Mm. You play that, it's seven hours long. It's quite challenging, but for certainly for um, 
old school fans, maybe not as challenging as they'd hope, what you realise is when you finish that entire mode, seven hours long, the real meat of the game, where the game really becomes and becomes brilliant, is an explore mode where instead of having 40 tracks and these deadly descents, you've got 150 tracks, all with different metal targets. Oh, it's yeah. classic repeat loops like SSX always used to be, all tied into SSX's version of um, my auto log in Burnout. So your friends will constantly be breaking your records, you'll be told all about it. That's where this game begins, and for me, this is a brilliant reboot.